what up people um he's not leaving the frame so i am back and i brought a new series with me yes i did along with a dog as well my first series was are you the one and you see how tragic that ended up being like i will never watch that show ever again but however i did think of this series um because of the show i'm excited about it because i felt like um i gave one series to start off youtube and show you like my commentary and stuff like that and now i feel like i should have another series but i am not gonna do a tv show that's something i'm not gonna do ever so here's the first episode all right just shake it and we have it lands so just wear it like this this doesn't work is it dude look at that what's up guys i'm kim and i'm jasmine and we are starting a new series called girl code revamped Revamp. basically it's gonna be curl code but it's gonna be you know amped up savaged up all of that our first one that we have for y'all today never ever, ever. <laughs> take your heels off when you go out wait when you go out to a club. Not even like, I um, mean, you go out to dinner? Don't yeah. take it off. Wait, I would take my shoes off if I'm at dinner. I mean, I'm underneath the table. How do you guys feet? I no, go. never ever. Okay. When you are out at a club, at a dinner, at whatever, you should not take your heels off. But let's talk about like the club because that's the most important yeah. thing. Uh, ladies, you go out and you decide to put on some six, six inch stilettos. Just know the consequences. That's your fault. That's your you, fault. Damn. You chose to make that decision before you walked out your house. So therefore, you have to put your big girl panties on and you have to wear those shoes all night long. All night long. All unless, night. unless, we made we made a new rule, Dennis. The new rule is 30 yards from your destination, you can take your shoes off. Like a parking deck. You're in the parking deck, you made it to the parking deck, congratulations, yeah. you can take your heels off. But do not take it off in the club. Oh wait, I didn't even think about this. If it's cute guys in the parking deck, keep your shoes up. Let them walk by. Like you just stand there looking cute. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Oh, and then when they walk past, like, God damn. And then you take your shoes off. Okay. But I don't want to see your nasty feet in the club. No. I don't even want my shoes to touch the floor because your nasty feet are on the floor. Reason why you shouldn't, because like your feet are gonna be disgusting when you get home. And I know you are not gonna take a shower. So I know that your feet are gonna be nasty in your bed, which, for one. Yeah, your bed sheet's gonna get dirty, which is disgusting, because mm. you're probably not gonna wash them. Mm -mm. Two, when you get in the shower, I know y'all bitches don't wash your feet. Nope. Standing there letting the soap run down your body to your feet does not get us washing your feet. If you, don't, if you don't, if you don't do don't, this, you're not <laughs> washing your feet. Girl code. That brings us to our number two girl code. Never, ever, ever have open toed shoes without your feet done. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> okay, so I am guilty of getting a last minute call. Hey, you wanna go out tonight? Oh, sure, why not? Look, oh snap, my toes aren't done. So I just polished two toes and y'all walk out the house, but I'm so ashamed of it. My ladies who do this all the time, please stop it, okay? If you can afford eight, ten dollar, what is it, Medi, Petty? Which one? Petty. Whatever, Petties, to get your toes done. You know, you go out every weekend, like, just, just stop it. Like, Don't buy a drink, buy some toes. It's worse than wearing, taking off your heels in the club. Cause if you take your heels off in the club and your feet down, it's like, oh, she's it's trifling, like, but she got pretty feet. You well, can't. imagine taking your shoes off and you don't have your nails done. Or no, like toes done. Toe, toe. Yeah, your toe done. And when we say Weird. toes, that means like, no Ten. ashy feet, <laughs> no crusty dusties, like, Get your toes done, guys. That means all ten of them. Yes. Done. Winter time, mm -hmm. y'all be wearing sandals and flip flops, whatever. In the winter time, when it's cold and your toes are out and they're not done, like yeah. what? What is that? Well, black girls don't do that. When it's you know, yeah, it's, it's a lot of white people. Where? Where? Why? You just need to cage them. Cage the dog. Lock them up. Our third one. <laughs> this happens like all the time. Oh, I'm guilty of this. Every female's guilty of this. Okay, and this only pertains to the females that actually like do their makeup and do their hair. Mm -hmm. I never, never trust, trust a female mm -hmm. that says, 
It takes her under an hour to, to get, get ready. ready. Because it's live. She says it takes me 45 minutes to do hair, makeup, put on clothes, my face, take a shower. She's lying. I take 30 minute showers. <laughs> like, <laughs> Especially when it's hot and you're like, yeah, yeah like, feels good. It, especially if she doesn't have her outfit already prepared. Yeah. It's oh. going to take her 15 minutes just to figure out an yeah. outfit, if that. I'm guilty of it, though. I am. Like, I tell my friends all the time, like, yeah, I'm just going to go home and um, redo my makeup and straighten my hair and then I'm ready. And it's like, I go home, first of all, I got to sit down, scroll through Instagram and <laughs> Snapchat and Facebook. Yes, I still get on Facebook. <laughs> then after that, then I got to have, so what I'm going to wear. I changed my outfit about five times. I get back on my phone and then I start getting ready. So that right there is like... 30 minutes wasted. I feel like now when we go out, you don't know, like, this bitch lying. I'm Give me my like, secrets away. Jazz, just get ready. Put your phone up, <laughs> get ready. And when you don't text me back, I'm like, Jazz, I know, I know you're on your phone. Our fourth and final one. This is my favorite series. one. This is my favorite one. For this episode, this okay. one's a little ratchet. It, never tell your true body count. Is that to your friends or to anybody? I feel like you're. She said to your friends. I feel like your close friends, they should know that you're a host, you're a host, so they know what to expect when they're with you and you're doing host activities. But, so like, your associates, like, nah, they don't even know. When you get that new guy, they're like, yeah, so how many guys you slept with? You're like, three. Don't ever go past three. <laughs> and, and let's define body count. So, if you slept with a guy one time. I don't think it counts. They don't count. It may have been a mistake. If you know. slept with a guy one time and it lasted for all of 10 minutes, that don't count. Scratch If you slept with a guy multiple times and it only lasted a total <laughs> of like 20 minutes and you slept with him for like <laughs> 10 times, like that don't count either. You, you and this guy can be dating and get serious and you feel like, damn, maybe I should really tell him like I used to be a hoe. <laughs> like, no. Like, once you told him that number, you, you made that commitment. Back, you can't um, mentally think that you your that. lie is true. You have to really actually believe yourself when you say it's been three. three. Hello. Start going back like this. These were my three people, and that's the three people you will say to the rest of your life. Watch this. Take everything else. Kim, how many guys have you slept with? Three. Yeah. Really? Yeah. And I believe her. <laughs> Even if she was lying, like I would believe her because that's what friends do. That's the girl code. Girl code. Believe them when they tell you a lie because they're most likely gonna tell you a lie. I only had sex with two guys. Also. <laughs> You. Here comes one of the babies right now. <laughs> yeah, guys, this is, this is my son. <laughs> Just like I said, hey. I wish I got two kids, two guys, two times. Um, this was just the first of many more um, to our series. We have a lot more information to give the public. First safe in America, one day at a time. One woman at a time. If you like this video, subscribe, like it, share it, let your fellow women know. We really took our time to pick topics that you guys will like or could relate to. So leave your comments, let us know how we did. And if you have anything that we missed, we want to add on to it, we'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Hell yeah. Peace out, Girl Scouts. <laughs>